friends, my name is Amy Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and to an almost completely transformed background space. I finally started redecorating in here and it's not finished yet. There are a few more things to go up, there are a few more changes I want to make, but look! I'm just, oh, I feel so zen in this space now. I am vlogging the process of this transformation, so whenever it's done, I will let you know. But isn't it exciting? Also ignore my greasy bun, please. <laughs> okay, so today I have my July project pan update for you guys. Oh, you were so excited last month and you guys were telling me like, girl, you're gonna finish off so much in July, like you've got so many different products that are ready to be panned, like July is gonna be a really big month for you and I'm gonna disappoint you all and you're gonna hate me. Mm, it didn't go according to plan. But we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna probably give you a bunch of excuses um, about why I didn't pan certain things. Um, you know the drill. But for those of you who are new, hi, I hope you decide to stick around. This is a place where you can find project pan videos, empties videos, things related to like low buy, no buy, and just generally positive vibes and living your best life. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then go ahead and subscribe. And for those of you who are subscribed, you already know you're the odd squad and I love you. Let's get into this embarrassing display of things that I have not done a good job with over the last month. Okay, first most embarrassing thing is the Garnier Body Summer Body Moisturizing Lotion. Sunkissed look. I can never, that always, it doesn't roll off the tongue. This is where we were at the end of June. And this is where we are at the end of July. This has like one application left. If I had just tanned my legs once in July, this would be done, but I didn't. Why? I don't know. Yeah, I have no excuse, I just didn't. I definitely will, I'm gonna do it tonight. Tonight, I promise, or maybe tomorrow, at some point this week, I will use this and I will get it done, promise. Next, this went a little bit better, but still not great. Um, this is the Clinique for Pur. This is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Charcoal Clay Mask. It's filthy now, but you can see this is where we were at the end of June. This is where we are now. So the progress is pretty consistent. Um, big thank you to the few of you who suggested that I don't just use this on my face, that I use it on different areas of my body. I did that and it was excellent. I don't know if it's because we've been having a lot of, well not right now, but we've been having a lot of really hot weather here and then I'm getting sweaty, but I noticed I started to get like a few spots like on the back of my neck and kind of like where my bra strap sits. So I used this on that and it really helped kind of dry all those out. So I'm gonna continue to use it for that just to kind of like get through it as quickly as possible. But it's still here. Another steady type of progress comes from the Argan Oil of Morocco. What is this? Oh, the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco. This struggle is so real today. I can't even express to you. I don't know what's wrong with me. So again, this is where we were at the end of June. Here is where we landed at the end of July. I have still been using this as a pre-wash treatment in my hair, just on the ends. And it's like, it's working out. I wouldn't say, hey, run out and buy this as a pre-wash treatment, because I can't say I've noticed much difference regardless of whether I do it or not. But it is helping me use it up quicker when I do it that way. Next, let's move on to makeup. I'm trying to use up this lip balm, the pomegranate lip balm that, remember, we couldn't work out who made this. Natural, um, <laughs> that's not English. Oh, the English is at the top. Naturally European. <laughs> it's like, that's not English. I can't say that word. So here is where we were at the end of June. This is where we are now. So, I mean, it's a decent amount. The thing about this is because it's more of a, it's almost like a gloss, more than um, like a stick. 
like with a chapstick you can just throw it in your bag and just you know put it on and you don't have to think twice but because this is a little bit like gooier I feel like I need to have a mirror to hand because I don't want to get it all over my face therefore I don't really pop it in my bag and use it when I'm out and about next let's talk about the NARS blush in deep throat you guys look look at where we are with this Somebody, I don't remember who, I'm so sorry, but somebody recommended that I depot this or repot this. Depot, depot. You know what I mean? Because it's getting so thin around the edges that it might start breaking apart. And that is a good idea. And I did have every intention of doing that, and then I just didn't. <laughs> Welcome to my life! <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty much almost gone at this point. I don't know how much is left of this, maybe another month or two, but probably not much more than that. And finally, well, almost finally, let's talk about my Riminal, Riminal. <laughs> let's talk about my Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in Heather Shimmer. Oh, yes. That is some pretty dramatic progress, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. For those of you wondering, how did it take over a year to pan that Clinique lipstick, and I've used up this one so quickly, it's purely because this lipstick isn't as good. I have never known a lipstick to transfer as easily as this one. Seriously, if I just put this lipstick on and didn't do anything to it, it would end up all over my teeth, all over my face, all over everything. It just, it's awful. So I need to blot after I apply it. But when I blot, I lose some of the pigmentation. So I'm having to apply, blot, apply, blot, apply, blot. So yeah, I'm using it three times faster than the Clinique one, because I'm having to apply it three times more than the Clinique one, because the formula just isn't as good. I'm here for the color. I think this kind of darker nude is a look. But yeah, the formula is just not the one. And I should be finishing up this one by the end of August. Woo! Finally, really finally, the candle that we all love to hate. If you saw my empties video from last week, you would have seen that it is gone. I mean, it doesn't look gone because there's still so much wax in there, but the wick is completely burned out. And I am thrilled to see the back of this one. You did nothing for me in my life except irritate me so this is gone i am not going to be switching it out for another candle because at this point look i don't want to say my candle situation is under control because it's not i have a whole basket full of the little votives but i'm not really concerned about the votives i don't have many big candles left so i'm gonna bring in a highlight. This came out of a Live Love London palette at the beginning of the year. I took, I depotted a bunch of different face palettes and put them into my Z palette. So this is that. I also had to repress it. That's the word I was looking for earlier, repress. Anyway, I had to repress this one so you can see it's not looking so great right now. But I'm thinking this would be a nice one to use up. It's intense. It's like, am I a human? Am I a unicorn? Am I a member of the Cullen family? Ooh, who knows? So yeah, using up a highlight would be great for me because I have a lot of them. I don't think I'm going to be able to use up this entire pan by the end of the year because let's be real. I mean, you guys just saw how pigmented it was. I'm going to be using a very light hand when I go in and apply this, but if I could just hit pan on this, I'd be feeling pretty good. Okay, so that is where we stand with the project pan. I've used up one more product this month, so not great, but if I do actually commit in August, I know I can use up at least three of these products, it, but I've got to try. I've got to like get my game face on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I want to take a second to remind you guys how much I love you and appreciate you. 
Um, I've just, yeah, I've, it's been a weird few months for me and you guys have been such an integral part of me feeling good and feeling motivated and just feeling happier. So I am more grateful to you guys than you will ever know. Um, you're like, you're the best and I love you. So thank you. Please remember that you are more than enough just as you are and have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.